Hello, and thank you for watching Cybos TV. Now, if there's anything you've ever wanted to know about Target 2 Securities, T2S, I've got an expert panel to tell us everything we all needed to know. So starting from my immediate left, and thank you for joining us here on Cybos TV this morning. Um, I'm joined by Jesus Benito from Iberclear. Valeria Bain to his left, thank you for joining us. Euro Clear, France, Belgium and Netherlands. And Mark Bale from the ECB, good morning to you, Mark. Robert Scott from Commerce Bank. And on my far left, Alberto Giovannini, CEO of Uni Fortune. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, Mark, maybe if I can come to you first. Briefly explain to us the origins of the, uh, the T2S framework. T2S is basically making a platform to deliver for all Europe securities transaction settlement in central bank money in an integrated manner. So to bring all the benefit of financial integration for Europe and in particular to make possible uh, the circulation of all collateral, all securities swiftly without delay in the whole euro area and beyond as it is a multi-currency platform as well. And Mark, I know this has been around for a long time, but where are we now on the timeline? Yeah, thank you to ask. Uh, <laughs> indeed, uh, the project now is coming to life soon. Next year, basically, we will be celebrating the go live uh, already in June. We are entering now a critical phase of testing with my fellow colleagues of the market, in particular uh, the CSDs. And uh, the project is going well, so the market has to be ready now to move ahead. Alberto, I know you're moderating um, a session on this issue later today, and I know this is a subject you've been studying for a long time. Uh, do you think this is cause for celebration, as Mark said, or are a lot of people very worried about this? I think it's very normal that people worry about it, but I think it's also very much a cause for celebration. I think that this is a, going to be a transformative uh, change in the European uh, securities uh, uh, landscape and very simply you know we are coming from a system whereby in different countries you had a market infrastructure that was designed for the country and because of that transactions across countries were made more difficult and more expensive to uh, to carry out and in general international investment within Europe was uh, a cumbersome and uh, sometimes almost an impossible thing to, uh, to manage. And now, uh, this is the very, mo the most important step towards a truly integrated capital markets in Europe, which uh, I think we all have to celebrate because it will make business easier, reach out more to uh, both investors and issuers. Well, Valerie, maybe if I can uh, dig down a little bit deeper into your specific areas, you're responsible for France, Belgium, and, and Netherlands. Um, how is it going to align with your markets? Well, for us, target to securities is very much um, an ena a scale enabler. So it really means that you know the raison d'etre of market infrastructure is obviously to support market resilience, stability, but also to deliver operational efficiencies. And with the target to securities, um, the scale will therefore be a key to continue and to create new efficiency to the market and bring further down the cost for the industry. So for us, we do see very much target to securities and an opportunity to um, expand from our three markets towards the 24 markets that T2S is going to, um, to service. Well, Robert, as, as Mark said, this has been a long time um, in, the, you know, in the coming. How are the yeah. banks coping and reacting now? Well, I think the banks are finally waking up. Um, I think there's been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of talk about um, T2S over the years. I think if you're a service provider uh, with client business, you're a little bit more prepared than others. But I think right now, um, people are starting to see the benefit. I do agree it's going to be a transformational exercise in the industry and uh, I, I think people are, are very in stages of preparedness. Um, right now uh, they are really taking it seriously. We have the first wave coming up and as things start to get more transparent around pricing, how things are going to really work, then I think you'll see uh, you know, a lot of activity over the next 12 months. Okay, well, Jesus, I know you have a lot on your plate at the moment, don't you? Because not only have you got this issue, you've also got the massive Spanish reform project. How are the two combining for you? It's complicated, yeah. definitely. <laughs> it's a good challenge for the Spanish market to move on to the harmonization that we were looking for. And I think what we are going to do is a two-step approach before migrating to T2S in February 2017, the way four, 
we will make the migration to the equities new system next year in October 2015. And definitely, we are very busy, obviously. I bet, I bet. Um, and Valerie, when do you think uh, uh, customers will begin to notice any difference? Do you think they will notice any difference? Well, I think um, they will have the choice actually to adapt and to take advantage of, of T2S um, according to, to their needs. You know, some of them will want to reap the benefit as quickly as possible and are already gearing up to, uh, to adapt their business model as well as their operations. Others will probably take more time because T2S is obviously providing um, a normalization um, solution for settlement, but clearly the fact that asset servicing will take much longer to be harmonized may give um, the um, uh, may give you know some constraints to some of the clients to really take the time and to only um, you know change their business model while the single European market fully harmonizes there. So I think it's. I mean, every client will decide on its own when to take the benefit of the T2S. Alberto, it's difficult at this stage to see the full impact of these changes, isn't it? But as far as competition is concerned, what does your hunch tell you? What, do you, what difference do you think it'll make? Well, I think one of the issues that um, was very present when we, within the European Commission, started talking about these problems was the boundary between the activities of a CSD or an ICSD and the activities of a custodian bank. Now, to give you an example, now I think these boundaries are very well defined by regulation and by the setup of T2S. So, you know, a number of things are clarified in a competitive space, but that of course is not going to tell us what the market structure is going to be five years down the road, in my opinion. There's a lot of people who are tooling up for this, but there's still a, uh, a, uh, a mechanism in motion. There are a number of harmonization activities that will have to be, in my opinion, at the end of the day, implemented and they're not implemented yet. So, it, you know, it's, uh, it's a moving, it's a moving uh, picture here. And uh, we can't really say what it's going to be like. Robert, I saw you nodding there, and obviously, as, as Alberto said, it's a moving picture. None of us know exactly what the picture is going to look like at the yeah. end. But do you see scope you know, for this to be expanded even further? For this to be bigger than people expect it to be? Yeah, I think a lot. I, T2S is all about bringing harmonisation and standardisation across the markets, the, the participants. I think uh, it would be nice to go into other geographies, other territories, other currencies. There's a big question mark about asset servicing, which you know, could, could further the scope of T2S. I think there will be some challenges. I think we need to let the first waves come in, uh, see what lessons are learned, and then just see how uh, you know, T2S can be adapted for, for, for other items. Uh, you know, law, local laws, politics, uh, you know, regulation will all have a massive impact if you were to further the scope. Um, and Mark, what are the next priorities um, for this project? Yeah, but maybe just on the point before, if you allow me. Uh, of course. I think we have prepared uh, a brochure specifically on the game changer that uh, T2S is bringing, uh, particularly looking at what it will change for issuers, investors, how easy it will be in the future or easier, as hinted by uh, Valérie, for issuers to issue all over Europe directly uh, and uh, with only one point of entry. That will be a huge uh, difference, I think, in the organization of uh, the market. The same for the investor being uh, access to the market much more directly. So uh, next step for T2S is to deliver the project first. I mean, <laughs> it is a big challenge together with my colleagues of the CSDs, the central banks. It's certainly a, a big challenge already. Uh, but uh, as hinted by Robert, I think there is potential probably to, to make things uh, more uh, I mean, easier to work for everyone, and if it is for the benefit of the market, we will certainly uh, look at it uh, closely. Absolutely. Jesus, I hope this time next year your, your life might be slightly less hectic than it is at the moment. What do you think people will be saying at Cybos 2015 about this? Well, I hope that the next year in Cybos we will be able to celebrate the uh, good starting of the T2S. I'm pretty confident that this is going to be the case. And definitely, we will be just uh, before, in our case, the new change of the new system for equities in Spain. And I hope to go 
there also to celebrate it in advance. <laughs> well, let's hope a mixture of celebration and relief, I think, this, <laughs> this time next year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. It's a very complicated issue. We had a lot to get through, and I'm very grateful for how you explained it in, in terms that most people could understand this morning at Cybos. Thank you very much. Thank You're you welcome. to uh, Jesus. Thank you, Valerie, Mark, Robert, and Alberto. And that's all um, from us here at Cybos TV. But do join us in a couple of minutes. Bye-bye.